I'm talking to Rachel Taylor, upcoming Aussie actress today, joining us on IGN. Yay, thank you for, thank you for having me. My pleasure. What was your audition like in LA? Well, it was sort of, you know, fairly stock standard audition kind of process, I think. I went in for my first audition, which was with a casting director, and then I had sort of three or four more auditions, and then I started workshopping with Michael and was lucky enough to get the role. I just feel incredibly grateful for it. Suddenly this is this is a huge jump for you. I mean, you've gone from doing TV huge and a couple jump. of telly movies, is that right? Yeah, Into absolutely. Into full-blown, massive summer blockbuster. Mm. It is a huge jump, but it's also a nice way to start. I mean, it's very much an ensemble piece, and I'm not the lead role in the movie. I just sort of get to go along for the ride. And I've sort of just been enjoying it and trying not to take it too seriously because, you know, essentially I spent three or four months of my life in Los Angeles going to work every day, running away from really cool robots, so... But you jumped a couple rungs in the ladder too, which has got to feel pretty good. Just I mean, a couple. Just a couple. Actually, what was it like working with uh, Anthony Anderson, your co-star? What was he He's like? He's a comic genius, seriously. And such a warm and generous guy. He was hilarious. He'd, um, Michael Bay has this thing that he doesn't like food and drink on set. And Anthony would do these outrageous little things of like hiding hamburgers and sandwiches around the set for Michael to find. <laughs> and he was completely outraged by it. But I was very lucky with the cast that I worked with. John Voight is incredible and was very generous and gave me a lot of advice which was nice. Was he your sort of on-set mentor in a lot of ways? Yeah, in a lot of ways he was and I think the most important lesson that I, I learned from working with John is to just be really really prepared and to still really pour all of your energy into it. I mean John Voigt has been around for a really long time but he still shows up to work and is completely professional. I mean, he would write notes on on his script and pass them to me to ask me what I thought, and he was very inclusive. So That's very pretty impressive. Very inspiring. John Voight asking you for I know, for it was advice. absurd. But what was it like working with Michael Bay? He sounds kind of quirky. He's just so talented, and I think very, very talented people often are. I mean... Essentially, I've worked with the best action movie director that there is. I don't think anyone does explosions and robots and like trashing buildings quite like Michael Bay. Was Spielberg on set much and did he get his hands dirty? He was on set quite a bit. And again, that was one of the things that was most impressive about Steven. I mean, this is the guy that pretty much owns Hollywood. Like he's just the most successful movie director probably, you know, ever. And he's still really excited by making films. Like he still shows up to work and he cares. And I think pretty much he really respects Michael and gives him his space and it's very much Michael's movie. But I mean, Steven Spielberg was certainly involved. Let's talk about your Aussie accent. It's so out there in the film, really immediately noticeable. And oh good, heard, yeah, I'm really pleased. Are you proud of that? I mean, Absolutely. And you I didn't think get Oh, it's, please. No, no, I'm sorry. I just think it's neat that Michael decided to make her Australian. It was originally an American. And when he hired an Australian, he thought, well, why not? Why not make her Australian? It's really cool and it's different. And it's not just an American movie. It's an international film. So it makes sense to have a, an international accent in there. Is it hard to be taken seriously in the film industry, being young and pretty? I think it's difficult, depending on what you want. Like, if you're happy to play that young, attractive female thing or the young, sexy thing, then I guess it's really useful. But I've never kind of been happy to do that. Like, I've always wanted to play characters. And if I had my way, I think I aspire to be a character actress more than anything. Are you living in LA right now? Are you based back in Tassie, Sydney? Where are you I'm at? I'm not sure where I'm living. I seem to spend most of my time in Los Angeles, but then most of this year I've been in Tokyo and I still sort of consider Australia home, I think. But I do really enjoy Los Angeles. I'm having a really good time there. Do you feel like you're living the life now? That you're sort of making waves out there and you're starting to... I keep having to remind myself that what I always wanted to do was make movies and that I'm making them, which is pretty kind of... It, it's pretty kind of crazy, I think. It sounds like it's almost like a day job still. It's just another job. It's funny, and at the same time, I know that I'm really lucky and that this is what I always wanted, and it's sort of like a dream come true, that kind of horrible cliche. <laughs> but then again, it's like a, it's still a job, yeah. and it's still your job to just show up and be prepared and be professional and be focused and to not get too carried away. So it's sort of this interesting balance of really enjoying it, but also just being chill with it and keeping your head on your shoulders at the same it's time. It's only half glitz and glamour, if that. The other half is it's the hard work. a little more than half. It's sort of like... 80% fun, 20% <laughs> hard work. Mm. That's a good ratio. That is a wish, really good ratio. my job was like yeah, that. Oh, stop. <laughs>
Beautiful. Well, thank you very much for chatting with us. Thank today. you for having me. It's been a pleasure. I'm glad you saw the film last night. Thank you. Thank you.